Okay, today's project is to get these wheels mounted and balanced. But before we do that, I've got to steam these. Or steam the calipers, I should say. So let me get my Dupre Tosca out. <clears throat> I finally got the name figured out. What it's actually called. And so we have a bottle. This piece here. So all we do on this thing is just plug it in. <clears throat> but first I'm gonna add some water. Then we'll plug it in and get it heating up while I pull the car in. It's really pretty simple. You just fill this spot up here with this bottle they provide you, and you're good to go. Okay, I already have a bunch of water in here, so it may not even take a whole bottle. Let's see. Yep. That was a waste. It was already full. So if you haven't watched the other parts of the series, I uh, did a video of the mounting and balancing of the tires. We have uh, Michelin Pilot Super Sports. Uh, zero pressure ZP or run flats. That's just what the Corvette calls for. You know, somebody was telling me it's designed for run flats. So if you don't do run flats, then you end up with sidewall issues and things like that. So the suspension is designed for run flats, which I guess I jacked up the suspension by changing it anyway. But these are uh, Vossen uh, V21s, no, S21s. Uh, and they are uh, forged monoblock. I forget what the, the fronts are. 19 by 10 and a half. The rears are 20 by 12 and a half. The rears are 54 offset. I think the fronts are 34 offset, plus 34. Uh, and these, of course, are going on the Z06, which I'm about to pull, here, pull in here in a minute. Uh, and then we'll figure out what lugs. I got some K-Tech uh, titanium lugs. I also got some Vossen lugs. Uh, so we'll see, uh, we'll see which, uh, which fit. I'm going to plug this in, get this steam going. So do that, turn it on, hit the steam button, and it'll start to get set up. So while that's doing that, I'm going to pull the car in, get, the, get it set up on the lift, and start removing the wheels. Okay, so here's current height. To give you an idea, I guess I should back the camera up so you can see it. I might have to, uh, might have to raise it up a tiny bit, but we'll see. I think it looks good. It's a little lower in the front than it is in the rear, but uh, it's no longer at old man approved ride heights. So I can barely squeeze this puppy underneath here. And what I do is just put these things right over the little jack point because my Porsche ones. You know, there's like a little oblong keyhole and the Porsche ones don't quite fit. So I need to get the uh, K-Tech makes a set, get the uh, Corvette specific ones. But these, this works great. Just put it right on a jack point, make sure they're in far enough where it doesn't hit any of the side, side areas of the car. And we're good to go. Somebody brought up a good point that a lot of people remove these, whatever those things are called so that uh, they don't fly off or break off, but I think the canards, I guess they're called. All right, let's get this thing up in the air. All right, so here's how this happened. First off, I'm gonna try to get through an entire Corvette video without complaining. How's that sound for you? Oh, wait. Am I complaining about complaining? This is gonna be happy Maddie. It's a happy day. I'm leasing the other side of the building. I'm um, doing a bunch of other crazy crap. I'm shooting a vlog, so I'm doing a video on a video. I got some gloves, so I'm growing up. It's a happy day, happy Corvette day. No, this car's gonna be great, you'll see. Oh yeah, there's a good chance the wheels don't fit and this is gonna go completely awry. None of these guys here believe that I can be a happy and butterflies day. You know what's real happy is to get rid of these grandpa lugs. Or this is like the week of de-grandpawing. D Grandpa the five, D Grandpa the Corvette. Get everything clean and dialed. Wow, those carbon ceramics smell interesting. They're uh, as they break in. I've got to go and burnish the pads. Oh boy, 
Let's not have a bad day and ruin my carbon ceramic to start the day. It's early. Normally I'm not even, I'm not here by now, by yet. I've been here for a while. Since everybody's watching me, we'll pretend I've been here for hours. All right. See, it's all happy. No more all seasons. Freaking all seasons. Who puts all seasons on a Corvette? What's wrong with people? And we're gonna get this caliper really dialed. It stinks that they jacked it all up. Cause these are really, really nice Brembos. It just entered into my mind. Why don't I just sell this thing right now? Figures, the recycling guy just came, took all the cardboard, but these aren't super, super dirty. So like the M5, they were really messed up. I don't really like that block, that big yellow block very much. So that's why I don't offer the hose reel with it. Or not the hose reel, the power cord reels. Just kind of warm it up here. Yeah, these aren't too bad. The other lesson I learned rather than screwing around, just go right to the right to the iron remover. This in combination with the steam and heat takes care of everything. You could probably just do the iron remover and skip the steamer, but I have it. It's fun. So that's why I like to use it. Okay. This all dialed, kind of spread around. Let's put a little bit more and we'll go to steaming. off and the M5 took hours and hours and hours of well maybe not hours and hours but minutes and minutes of steaming cleaning agitating these weren't too bad this car is newer though the problem is the idiots jacked it all up combination of dealer and owner just dropping crap on the freaking $8,000 calipers. I got an idea. How about take a little bit of care? All right, so that's all cleaned up. Wipe this down. Yeah, Tarex is like freaking magic, dude. Looks like rubber marks coming right off. Okay, let's do a little eraser prep. It's already cooled. So we're ready to coat. Should I plan on this taking all day? It's not gonna take long at all. The oils are off. So we're gonna do Crystal Serum Ultra. And I'm just going to do Ultra on these. I'm not gonna to top with XO, just because I don't feel like it. And we'll be fine with just this. Especially since these are already pretty jacked up. So on Ultra, put the cap back on, coat it. Basically by the time I get the whole caliper covered, I'm ready to wipe it off. So all kinds of little cracks and stuff on here. Just calibers are so chipped up that it's not even like it's not making me feel like even doing this it's even gonna do anything clearly I didn't get it cleaned as well as I thought I'm getting black all over my white thing wipe it flat and this is done put the wheel back on call it a day yeah just like we thought Bryce the uh, the tire is touching these giant, why would they make it so bulky? I guess I'm probably the, one of the very few Corvette owners that lowers it lower than what the bolts will give you. All right, we're done. Yes. 
<sighs> I'm putting most of the pressure on this, not on the carbon ceramic. I know you won't believe me, but it's the truth. Done. Jeez, this is all chipped up from hitting the freaking wheel off of them. Don't do that. Okay. That side's done. Let's coat it. Then we gotta go move. Obviously, you don't wanna hit the rotor, but if you touched it with this, it's gonna melt off in one millisecond. I know that people believe that coatings are impenetrable force fields, but I think I uh, brake. I don't think you gotta worry about it too much. If we were gonna keep this car for more than a couple more weeks, I'd consider having the calipers redone. But this color is great. Blue is kind of my color. We'll wrap this video up. It's a quick one. I gotta run two simultaneous videos. It's like a vortex of Mormon. I'm so mad at myself. I was like. Don't leave the battery and charger. Don't leave it. I left it. Freaking PSI. <laughs>